See Taylor's catch here. Oh, that thing's huge. That's massive, Taylor. Good job. You got it. Oh, you got the GoPro? No, I just I haven't hooked up yet. I'm too What's that? Oh, it's a little drum. No, that's, oh. a, that's a bass. It's another big one of what I just that's caught. Say it again. Using some cut bait. Nice. Some cat, cut uh, thread fin here. Nice. So you can change primus songs again. <laughs> Should I put the other one back up? <laughs> uh oh. We're going to find out. <laughs> what you rigging up, Garrett? Yeah. Alright, we're on bottom. It should work. Okay. So there's still fish there. They're gonna bite it just like that. See that tip? They're already biting it. Yeah, they're, nibbling, they're nippling at it. There we go. See that? Oh my. Oh my. Just short of 13 inches. Yep. See you, buddy. <laughs> Another of the same one? Yep. Aww. He's too little, right? Oh, definitely. That one doesn't count. So cool. Mm -hmm. Look at his face. Yeah. Alright. Oh, I gotta. Here. Is he long enough or is there no. There's no size on him, but I have to be really big for it to uh, give him. Yeah. Yeah.
hold that. Put it where it needs to. here. It's, it's a pretty fish. I have never cleaned one or cooked one, so this will be my first time. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> I just picked up this flay knife. It's the Man of War Fishing Company. We'll see how it does. I think it's got pretty good flex to it. There's a local company here in, in the Indian River area. Seems to be pretty sharp. Take that right there. Yeah, it's doing pretty good. Fish seems to be pretty nice. Oh, nice white meat. I like to do that to one side and then I'll do it to the other side as well. Just to... <clears throat> just to get that two fillets started. And then 
go ahead and pull one side off at a time. Go ahead and click. Just like that. Kind of a smaller fish. <clears throat> I've never caught one that was legal size. They all run a little bit under. They have to be 13 inches. So do that. Straight through. This knife is pretty sharp. I like it. We got that. Nice. There's like no bloodline in it. Get that out of there. Going really close to the skin. Again, there's like no bloodline at all on this fish. It's interesting. Most fish I catch have some sort of bloodline. I'm going to do one this way, and the other one, I'm going to do. I'm going to. Might do a whole fish. side went way faster. I don't know what I did different. There we go. That can go to my chickens. I can be buried in my garden. Either or. Try not to waste anything if I can. Again, nice white no bloodline so a little bit of a bone here take that out just like that again my chickens will love that where they're at usually they come running when I start cleaning fish yeah I like this knife so far see how it holds up under multiple uses they got um built-in uh, little blade dresser here. Kind of neat. I caught one of these. Yeah. And my brother-in-law caught the other. I have a small serrated knife that I like to use for this process. Mm. Might just go ahead and uh, grab my serrated knife. I'll be back. <clears throat> This <laughs> looks like barely anything. It is a just a little serrated knife. I don't even know where I got it, but it works pretty good on scaling fish. Sometimes I like to scale the fish because you. I feel like you get a lot more meat. Get all that meat between the uh, the ribs and the backbone, all between that vertebrae. But gotta do a little more work to scale them, which is not a problem. They'll get stuck so they're not wanting to pop right out, but you can go ahead and hit them from an angle and they'll pop out. Ah, 
I don't know why this got slit like that, but normally I try to leave that in con in. Leave that intact because it's a lot easier to scale when that's intact. hole right there. Go up through there. Pop it open. Sometimes I'll even split it just back a little bit. That one is sometimes the the butthole in it goes back further than that or the gut cavity goes back further than the actual hole. This one doesn't seem to be that way. Just take that in there. We have a little bit of it. This is sharp right here. Sometimes on this part right here, I have a pair of nips, little garden nips. I'll just nip that there and I'll nip that there. I don't know where I put them, but it works pretty good. And here are my chickens. You want some of these? Come on. Any of that bloody looking stuff out of there, those any of those organs that are left in there, gills. And you can take your knife, hit that little back spot right there. Gets rid of some more stuff. That really well. So it scales off. sides. that <clears throat> pull that out of there gets rid of all these little tiny bones there's not much meat on them anyways do that on the bottom Fish, different structure. Same deal though. What's meat with it? If you got better ways to do these, let me know. I'll try them out. I like to learn. 
we want that. Yeah, I'll leave that on. Why not? Looks more like a fish if you leave a few fins on it. Anyways, that's that one. Give it another little rinse. And I'm gonna cook both of these. Some flays, some just whole fish. Look at that. Got a little Spanish mackerel here. This one actually hit kind of hard. I was surprised how hard it hit. Normally I catch them on like a live greeny or like a gotcha or one of those type of lures. This one while I was hitting, while I was fishing for the, fishing for the black sea bass there, these things, it hit on the way down, barely even got to the bottom on cut bait, which is strange to me. I have caught many things on cut bait. It's a pretty nice knife. Glides pretty good. These mackerel are. I like them. I like to eat them or smoke them. If you're gonna eat them without smoking them, I like to eat them within the first few days. They are a lot better. Their meat is very soft. Like it, if you have a dull knife, you're just gonna basically just smash through the flesh. It gets kind of messy. Even with a sharp knife, it's kind of nice to be just a little slower with it. You get a better flay. These, just leave the skin on them. I do, however, take... So, I also like to just, just do one of these. You have a nice long fillet. If you want to make it taste a little less fishy, you just take your blade and run it down through there. Take out that little blood line. said if you eat them I go ahead and cut these into thirds if you uh, eat them fresh they're really nice Keeping them cold helps too. That cold makes the uh, flesh a little more firm. But with the Spanish and kingfish, look how much gut cavity there is. There's a lot of meat for not having much of a gut cavity.
you drop them in the dirt, you get a little blackened seasoning on them. You can also take, if you don't mind saving, some pieces in your fridge or freezer. You can take these. bait out of that. Or a couple baits. The bait there, nice. Actually there's a lot of meat on that, but I'll make that a bait this time. This will go into my garden. All right, so we have sea bass. We caught, and we have a little bit of Spanish mackerel. Gonna keep this simple. Just a little bit of salt. I can get this without. Just, just a tiny bit. Basically, just I call it the trifecta of seasonings. <clears throat> Garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And that was my wife walking out the door. You heard those footsteps. And then some butter, salted or non-salted. My wife likes unsalted. And then I'll go ahead and salt it. A little all-purpose flour. We eat gluten-free, and this is what one of the things we usually use. I also like to use this. Uh, it's a redfish blackened seasoning. Just a little bit of that. Adds a little spice to it. I'm gonna leave that because I've never had that before. I don't know what it tastes like. I can always add a little of this after. I almost forgot the flour. Best thing of this. Kind of gives it a little bit more of a crisp outside. Don't have to be that thick, just enough to basically dust it. Go, Garrett. Now. Here he is, the whole room. I was that wondering was what you guys were doing. Yes! Rock on, Ansley. Butter this for some flavor. Don't need a whole lot. We got some oil in there already. It's ready to go. Maybe a little bit more. Can never have too much. Yeah. 
What's that lady that uses all the butter? <laughs> Paula Dean. Paula Dean, baby. <laughs> That up, get that butter melted. Oh yeah! Look at them butter bubbles. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, throw one of these suckers in there. Ooh! I could have got a little warmer. Yeah. Oh well. It'll cook. It'll absorb the butter. It'll be good. Can yeah, we turn not? it up? I'll throw all this in a second. Out. Ooh, nice and golden. Golden. Like a retriever. What'd you season it with? Seasoning. <laughs> uh, salt, pepper, garlic, powder, and... I didn't put any redfish seasoning on this. I just did... I just want to be able to taste it. Yeah. Yes, this is a dry one. <laughs> His favorite spatula. It's pretty good. All stainless steel. Look at that. Great it's amazing. They don't make anything like that anymore, except for this. <laughs> it smells really good. <laughs> You're talking about the fish? <laughs> or what uh, your dog just did? Hey, <laughs> Smells good. All right, I'm let's hungry. get some of this mackerel on there. Smack it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smack attack, baby. Smack attack. Random pine cone in the corner. <laughs> Not random. There. Wait. What pine cone? That. What is the shelf for? Exactly. It's for of putting your drink and your knife and, like, your, and your WD-40. My question, my, my question and, is... And the cactus. Do you ever use anything off the no. shelf? No. No, everything on there needs to be trashed. <laughs> it's like a junk drawer. Well, a least, drunk drawer? <laughs> a junk drawer. Well, at least you have something to pull your wine cork out. <laughs> Can you leash your dog with it? All right, we're gonna flip this. Oh, yeah. yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa. Flopping around. Like a fish. Come on, flip it. Flip it. Flip it real good. Yum. Got a little broccoli, a little rice. Got some snapper here. I've already tried it. That's why the flavor is a little smaller. It is actually very mild in flavor. Uh, there's like no bloodline in it, which is interesting. Got some uh, Spanish mackerel here. And we're going to eat. Simple, nice, fresh.